Hi and welcome to General Nerdery. This week I'm going to show you how to take a giant scene like this and make it look itty bitty like this. It's called the miniature effect and it's usually done in camera with something called a tilt shift lens. However, you can get very similar results with software and I'm going to show you how to do that today on General Nerdery. Okay, you're going to need an advanced image editing program to do this. I'm going to be using Photoshop CS4. However, you should be able to get similar results in any advanced editing program like GIMP, for example. If you don't know, GIMP is a free image editor very similar to Photoshop in many ways. I do intend to cover GIMP in more detail in a future episode. The first thing to do is enter Quick Mask mode. You can do that by either simply pressing Q on your keyboard or selecting the Quick Mask button beneath the color options on the toolbar. Make sure that your colors are set to black and white with black on top and white on the bottom. Now move up to the paint bucket icon on the toolbar. Left click and hold, then select gradient tool. At the top left of your screen you'll see the gradient options. You want the fourth from the left, reflected gradient. Also make sure that the window to the left shows solid black moving into solid white, that your mode is on normal and your opacity is set to 100%. Select the point on the image that you want to be in focus. Left click and hold, then move up to a point just past which you want to be completely out of focus, and perhaps just a little bit further. When you release the left mouse button, your quick mask will be created. The pink area indicates the area of the photograph that will stay in focus. The dark pink in the middle will stay in perfect focus. The lighter pink area outside of that will be less so. Now leave quick mask mode by either pressing Q or moving down again to the quick mask button. When you leave quick mask mode, your mask becomes a selection. It looks like a hard line, but in actuality it is a soft selection. Go up to Filters and select Blur. We're looking for Lens Blur. If you have an older version of Photoshop or you're using a different image editor, Gaussian Blur will work, but not as well. In the preview image here, we can see how simply selectively blurring the top and bottom of the photograph has completely changed the sense of scale. By adjusting the radius slider, you can adjust the amount of blur to your taste. I've decided on a radius of 47 for this photo. When you're ready, click OK. Applying the filter can take a little while depending on the speed of your computer and the resolution of your image. Now deselect, either in the menu or by pressing Ctrl plus D. We're 90% of the way there now, and even as we zoom in, we can see that it maintains that miniaturized effect. Now we just need to put the finishing touches on. Go up to Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation. Turn up the saturation a bit. Select OK, and then back up to Image again. This time, to Brightness and Contrast. And turn up the contrast just a couple notches. Turn up the contrast and the color saturation adds to the effect that this is a handmade model and not an actual photograph of a real life setting. And there we have it, we're done. One miniaturized highway. But it could have just as easily been a city street, a set of buildings, a group of people, or anything taken from a high angle at a distance. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you next week on General Nerdery.